many people were out on a mission tonight as they threw, they caught, and they dodged balls, all for a good cause. This was the fourth annual Chuck It Dodgeball Tournament, which was held for Callie Jordahl Dam. She's a student over at Cheney Middle School in West Fargo who is battling brain cancer. Proceeds from tonight's tournament will go directly to the benefit fund. I think they, they realize it's a twofold type of thing. Uh, they're having some fun playing dodgeball, but at the same token, they're helping out one of their own, one of their own students here at the Cheney Middle School. So uh, it's very heartwarming for me to see that. And it was a good cause. If you missed the event tonight, still would like to donate to the fund, you can cash, uh, send cash and checks, dropping them off at any Bell State Bank and Trust location. A Fargo home has been operating on an efficient energy source, and today we got an up-close look. It's the largest solar-powered project in the metro, and today was the solar house demonstration. The house has 18 panels. It's also equipped with a battery array that stores enough energy to operate after the sun sets. I think we have to look at energy differently. Right now, we view energy as one directional. It comes to us from our companies. That's a lousy way to do things. If you think about it, we should view energy like the internet, where we share information back and forth. We should be sharing energy back and forth. There's no reason why we should not have everybody on the block with solar panels going energy production. When somebody needs it, they get it. When somebody doesn't need it, they don't get it. In 2015, the house produced more energy than the home used. The family is also planning on switching to solar-powered cars in the future. And remember to like Valley News Live on Facebook. You can follow the latest news, weather, and breaking news updates anytime on your feed. Just search Valley News Live, like our page, and you'll stay informed throughout the entire day. Later in sports, the Bison football team finishes its schedule for 2016, plus details on plans for 2017. And having trouble keeping those blacks black and the whites white? We have some tips for you. Stay tuned.